Sanrio's first Hello Kitty convention took place last weekend from October 30th to November 2nd at the Geffen Contemporary in Little Tokyo, Los Angeles. My friend Daniel and I were lucky enough to score Saturday tickets to the sold out con. And when I say lucky enough to score tickets, I really meant we paid the aftermarket prices for them. That's right, not many people including us expected something like this to be sold out so quickly. But the people that did, made some pretty easy money. But I'm not going to spend the whole video talking about how I spent my entire week stocking eBay and Craigslist for our Hello Kitty Con tickets. Instead, I'll be talking about my Hello Kitty Con experience, or lack thereof. Honestly, the only vivid memory I had at the convention was being in a line for another line to get into another line just to be somewhere where we wanted to be. I lined up for the badges, lined up to get into the convention, lined up to get free goodies, lined up to take a picture with Hello Kitty, lined up to get free swags, and don't get me started about lining up just to go shopping for official merchandises. If you have to know, we stood in that line for two and a half hours, and I ended up buying nothing. You can imagine how bummed I was when they told me they sold out of this Hello Kitty vinyl bow figure. <laughs> To say waiting in all those lines ruined our immersive experience of an otherwise kawaii filled con is an understatement. Daniel waited in line 5am in the morning in hopes to score a free Hello Kitty tattoo. Yes, free permanent Hello Kitty tattoo for the first 75 people each day. Problem was, there were no signs that were clearly labeled where we needed to go line up. So when the convention opened up, attendees who knew where to go already rushed to that line for the tattoos. With that being said, it seems like the best way to approach Hello Kitty convention, or any conventions in general, is to go at least two days. One, to figure out where everything is, and find out all your wants. Two, to get what you want. However, poor organization is to be expected of a first time convention, so Daniel and I still made the most of what we got, and still ended up having a good time anyway. As you have expected, the entire convention is themed Hello Kitty. So while other Sanrio's other popular mascots, such as Karofi and Batsmaru were there, you won't find too many of their merchandises. The con's sole focus is on Hello Kitty and her family and boyfriend. Yes, she has a boyfriend who is named Daniel. No, not my friend Daniel. This Daniel. Oh, and she has a twin sister called Mimi. Guess she's the unspoken twin. Okay, I'm being mean, I should stop now. Anyway, the entire convention is for all ages. Kids and their parents could enjoy a variety of activities such as carnival games sponsored by Target, workshops where they can make Hello Kitty cupcakes with Ace of Cake stuffed Goldman or other art crafts, panels where they can learn more about the culture and history, and booths where they can get their nails done. Hardcore Hello Kitty enthusiasts could enjoy free permanent tattoos as mentioned earlier in the video, find vintage Hello Kitty merchandises if they are serious collectors, and gander at avant-garde fashion inspired by the 40-year-old cat. If it wasn't already convenient enough, the convention was also located right next to the Japanese American National Museum, which held an exclusive exhibit for Hello Kitty from now until April 26, 2015. Attendees can go in for free for an otherwise $20 visit. Pretty great deal in my book. And the activities doesn't stop right there. Right across the streets from the convention and the museum is the Japanese Village Plaza, which housed a few of the Hello Kitty Hungry Hunt spots for attendees to pick up their Hello Kitty pins while enjoying some of LA's delicious delights. While the convention itself was a little disorganized, Sanrio still did an awesome job planning all these events so tightly close to one another so attendees would never run out of things to do within the premises. And let's not forget the most important thing. Like any convention, Hello Kitty Con brought together fans who all love this 40 year old adorable cat looking girl. So overall, I say Hello Kitty's 40th anniversary was a huge success. Would I go to another one if there was say a uh, 40th anniversary or a 50th anniversary? Absolutely. Next time Daniel and I would do it right. Until then, you can check out pictures of the convention on our Facebook or our blog kawaiikakoisugoi.com. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy hearing about my Hello Kitty con experience. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.